Howdy ho, fellers. Tis I, Kaylee. And today, this is Cooking with Kaylee, episode 365. <clears throat> Welcome. All right. Today's dish we're going to be cooking is called... Yeah, we're going to be cooking... All right. The ingredients for this you will need is an egg, oats, sugar, a tomato, make sure it's a small tomato, this one's organic, grow, growed in, an, in a garden, our garden, uh, some kind of tiny barley, um, one fourth cup, um, a microwave bowl, and a juice box. Well, Apple juice, dude. Ap apple juice. One of these mashed potatoes masher uppers. A sword for chopping your tomato. And a cutting board. Oh, and also to put this all on, you need a, a plate. I got this paper one right here. Alright, then. So uh, let's get started with the dish. First thing you need to be doing is you need to grab your egg, move all this out of the way. And put your egg in the bowl, like like so. See, you, I think you all know how to put it in, in a microwave or bowl, bowl, bowl. Next thing you need to do is you need to grab your mashed potato masher upper and mash the egg up. But sometimes you may break the bowl too. So uh, so if you break your bowl like I just did, um, you gotta get your egg is also everywhere right now. So what you need to do now is you gotta grab the egg juices and you put it into this other bowl and now the egg juices are everywhere you can't see them but i got this i got it squished now i also chopped my parents bowl up so oh no all right so um next thing you need to do is once you've mashed it up then um i need to get a new microwavable bowl so you can watch this adventure right now see look, look at the adventures of kaylee nope that's the cups i'm getting egg juice all over me and since if you're a short person like me, then I recommend going up here and grabbing a new one. I probably should have chopped up the egg on the cutting board instead of chopping a bowl in half, but, you know, we, we can't do that now. Now, since now you have your mashed up egg bits in there, you got to microwave it now. There's egg, and I put this on top of the egg juices, so we'll, we'll put this in the microwave now. Come, come, let's go. Let's go put this in, in, in there. Let's go. Now that you have your new bowl in the microwave, close the microwave door as you would usually do and then put it in there for around 10 seconds. Look, look. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna wait for 10 seconds. You hear those crackling noises? Probably not, but those crackling noises means it's good. There we go. All right, then you take it out. All right, so let me just get the bowl out of the way. The one that has been chopped. And now you have your um, microwaved egg. Now, instead of crackling like it did before, it kind of stays together, which is good. Also, I still haven't cleaned this up. Let me, let me just, you know, fix the whole egg everywhere. It got everywhere when the bowl cracked. Oh, that's, ugh. Turns out we're not cleaning it up because that is disgusting. Take this to the trash can. All right, now, fellers. Now, once you have your mashed up egg, the next thing you want to be doing is you got to get your tomato and you got to chop that up. Put that on top of the mess you made with the egg and grab your sword and chop it right down the middle. Yeah. Right down the middle. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. It looks like meat inside. Juicy, good old mashed potato thing. No, not mashed potato. Tomato. T tomato, tomato, potato, potato. And it, I don't even like tomatoes, but whatever. Okay, 
Now, once you're done with that, you put it in with your egg shards. Then what you need to do is you gotta grab your big thing of oats. I've never opened this. So we're opening it now. How do you open this? You read the instructions, children. You lift ring and pull around edge. This is not all people do, though. I'm going to get some help to open this because I'm clearly a weakling. Now that you have had help opening your oats, uh, now that you've had help opening your oats, grab your one-fourth cup and just get the oats. Once you're done with that, put that in with your tomatoes and your eggshell. Delicious. Now you kind of like kind of swirl it around, you know. That's what it should look like right there. Let me close this up now. I don't even remember what this dish dish was called. Like something like I think that's it. Alright, then you're gonna grab your potato or but actually I'm kind of scared I might mash up this bowl again. So to be safe, put it on your cutting board and get the eggshell out of there. Ah, there we go. Now squeeze or mash. Uh, oh. And if, you, and if you get food everywhere, get your dog to clean it up. Right, Molly? She said right. Now, it should look like a mashed mess. Your tomato should be squished to bits. Now, since that's good, grab your bare hands that you didn't even wash. I, I didn't even wash my hands. And put them on here. This. Now, the dish isn't finished yet. We need to add the little drizzle on top. Eh, there's tomato everywhere. Always remember to not wash your hands. Because that d doesn't spread soap germs. Yeah. Alrighty then. Now that you've had your little mess here, Grab your juice box that you still have. Open it up. Grab your scissors to open it up. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> now, just, there we go. Now that that's a little open, just kind of pour it on top. But this is a paper plate that I'm using, so it's definitely going to soak through. I'm going to put this on top of the cutting board in case it does soak through, though. Don't use all of it. You still want some good, good juice. Oh. Ah. Good. It should look like this still. Then you got to grab your sugar. And get a little, little pinch, itty bitty little pinch. Huh. Oh yeah. Delicious. Now your food is uh, uh, done, sorry. And now let's, let's get a close up shot of it and then we'll eat it. Yum. Doesn't that make you want to eat it? Bone out the teeth. Okay, I got um, I got some tomato covered in oats. Gotta just slice it up. Let me go and 
You gotta get this. I didn't even like try it and I was like gagging. Let's just eat it with my eyes closed because maybe then I'll. I almost threw up. Delicious! And that was my food. Blah, blah, blah. Tune in next time to see what our next food is going to be. This was Kaylee's Cooking Show. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.